Welcome back to the channel, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we have another story for you guys. This one from the Daily Mail. Before we finish today's uh, videos and news stories, this is about the leader of the opposition, the Keir Beer Starmer, uh, who's come out to tell us uh, his uh, new position, his strong and stable position on wokery, the woke issues, the progressive agenda. Uh, you know when kids don't want to listen to something or they think that they could just ignore the monster under the under the bed they go la 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 <laughs> just gonna close my eyes and it's gone it's disappeared you can't see me if i can't see you can't see me that's exactly what keir starmer is doing now this is a perfect picture to actually show the analogy now he's basically come out to say that uh, well i've been doing some thinking woke issues are not really that important they're, they're, they're not really a threat they people in, in britain don't really care about them Seems like uh, his focus groups and opinion polls that then surveys and all the teams that he's got haven't really updated him. That uh, until a few years ago, the whole agenda, what we call the progressive agenda, but in reality is regressive, the woke stuff has been going on for decades. The brainwashing in the education system, the cultural institutions, but most of it was when they were a lot smaller as a clique and there were a bunch of student activists who were just shouting and shouting. So we ignored them at the time because they were not important at the time. But because we ignored them, they became bigger and bigger. So now what we call the so-called woke issues, they are now completely everywhere. So it's not just some sort of Twitter debate or anything like that. You can't ignore it. And his new position, his new policy is to not do anything about it. Just trust it. Everything's going to be fine. So the Mail reported uh, and that uh, woke issues don't matter to the public claims Keir Starmer, who has repeatedly struggled to define what a woman is. But that's also a very good point. He doesn't even know what a woman is. And he's, uh, he's trying to tell us he's so wise that we should just trust him. That Don't worry, guys. If we just uh, not do anything about the threat that's going on everywhere, women's rights at risk and everything else, safety, and then it's just going to go away. Starmer thinks that the Tories have made major strategic blunder on woke issues. Are you kidding me? So the Tories, in fact have been doing what you're saying. Most of the time, the Tory government have ignored it you know, at, at best. We've had a couple of times with a couple of people like Kemi Badenoch who decided to fight back or list trust. Yeah, but the main agenda of the cabinet, Downing Street, was to, it's probably not a big issue. And they ignored it and kept ignoring it until it became a bigger problem. So, but Keir Starmer is claiming that the Tory has, ha have actually been proactive in the culture battles and everything else. And it has, it's been a blunder. Are you kidding me? No, they're doing what you actually want to do as well. Now, critics have claimed that Keir Starmer was out of step with the British public opinion on wokery. It's absolutely weird how what sort of politicians we have these days. Now, in his most recent intervention in the gender debate, and that's actually interesting. So you remember he said recently that the majority of women, 99%, 99.9% don't have a penis. <laughs> Meaning around 1 in 1,000 women do. Um, so he's also a bit of a hypocrite because he's basically come out to say that these issues, they're not really a threat, they're not a danger, just ignore it, everything's fine. But every now and then he's forced into responding and intervening. So his team have meetings saying, you're going to have to make an intervention on this new woke issue. So if he's coming out to tell us that we should ignore it, why is he not only not ignoring it, He's actually taking the wrong side of the debate every single time. Now, the former minister, Sir John Hayes, said that it, it comes as no surprise that Keir Starmer does not want to talk about these issues because he knows his party is out of step with the British public on them. That's absolutely spot on from John Hayes. He says, this is a man who is so in hock with, to the bizarre views of his bourgeois activists that he's una unable to uh, even to state that being a woman is a matter of biological fact, not fashion. Now, according to this Conservative MP, it is uh, uh, the left that started this cultural war on British values and history. And now it is telling us that we shouldn't be fighting it. Well, that's a good point as well. The left started it, and now the left keeps saying, well, we, should, we, should, we shouldn't really be fighting it. You created this chaos. Anyway, as I said, John Hayes is also the chairman of the Common Sense Group of the Tory MPs. There's only a few of them left at this point who <laughs> have some common sense, but they're not in government. Uh, noted that uh, Sakir had tried to silence the debate after the coronation weekend, in which people have been taking great pride in the customs, traditions, and history. 
which some in his party would have us apologize for. That's absolutely spot on. Now, obviously, the priority is right now for any party and politician should be to sort out the cost of living crisis, the whole of the economy in general, the NHS, the education system. But it's no longer the 1990s where you can say, well, let's just focus on the economy. It's the economy stupid and ignore the woke issues, whatever we used to call them back then. So because right now, the same woke issues, the progressive agenda, I hate the word work, by the way, are now everywhere. They are inside the NHS. They are on our company, the, 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 the corporations boards with CEOs being woke, cultural institutions, Netflix is woke. Everything is becoming what I would call culturally Marxist. So you can't ignore it. If you want to tackle the cost of living crisis and the tax system and the economy and the NHS, it goes hand in hand with winning this war on these cultural Marxists. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. I'm Maya Tusi, and we are the media.